All right, uh, so basically, I just I want to make another. Oh, but this, by the way, folks, this is Bob Scabbage here, TV fifteen. Uh, I just want to make a quick clarification here. Uh, this is Wayne Stacy, by the way. All right, thanks, Wayne. Uh, so basically, there were some issues with last week's broadcast uh, forward slash podcast. That led to some complications, so we just wanted to say sorry about that, and uh, everything will be uh, back on yeah, track. Don't, uh, don't worry about sure. that happening again. Uh, our TV station is locked to atomic standards, so it was nothing to do with the station. Uh, turns out the, the TV antennas got a little too heated up. The heat tolerance did not was not up to their stability uh, standards. So, did the, uh, the FCC? What did they say? Did they get back to you about that, or did they? Yeah, well, uh, as you know, uh, one of the representatives from the local branch of the FCC came by. Uh, uh, yeah, I didn't know that actually. Uh, I was out on the lake. I know you were. I would have been there too. I had to meet the guy. Uh, he came down on the uh, Friday in the afternoon, and unfortunately, uh, he also observed that uh, we presently in at DV15 don't have operational EAS equipment uh, which I don't Wait, who, who is this guy? What's his name? Was it Chuck? Yeah, it was Chuck. Yeah, Chuck, he's a real stickler though. Yeah, Chuck's really Did he stick you with the fine? Uh, okay. Well, if you want to get into the into the nitty and the gritty on this one, but uh, apparently Failure to have operational EAS equipment results in a... Um, Are you looking at that right there? Can I see that? Um, That's what Chuck told me. Oh, gosh. Yeah. So, uh, oh, gosh. I do apologize that we- oh, wait, what? <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh, is this because we didn't have the enclosed fence put up yet? Yeah, it's, uh, it's partially about... Well, this. come on. Jimmy... Crickets. Yeah, that's what I told him. I told Chuck. Uh, I told Chuck, uh, maybe you can give us a pass. But he said the there's a president for this, and uh, the president is that uh, if we just had the inoperational EAS equipment, we might be all right. But the enclosed fences results in... Uh, let me just check the yeah, paperwork this here. This wasn't an issue of antenna structure registration, and this is, this is just a fence. Are you kidding me? Yeah, uh, we were um, we were supposed to have a fence there, and apparently it's in uh, violation of a number of uh, number of codes, uh, local, both local and federal codes. Oh, gosh. And uh, oh boy, well, uh, let's let's just look to the horizon. I mean, I don't know what we're gonna do about this. I got a cousin over there, so I'll have him talk to Chuck, but oh boy, oh boy. Well, right now we are in our, over our heads, it looks like. Oh, gosh. Okay. Well, uh, Hal, Hal Shackley, uh, local uh, showrunner well, for TV15. That's more than Janet Jackson got for her clothing malfunction. Yeah. I don't know if you remember the Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. Well, of course you did, 2008. Oh, I remember it right well, because uh, your team was playing, but... That's more than she got. Yeah. Uh, it's quite a lot of money. But Hal claims that he can send an email to the guys over at Mindstorm and maybe work wait, something. Wait, wait. What's this over? on here, though? It says uh, refusal. Oh, this must be. This this is a typo or something. This says refusal to cooperate uh, with FCC inspector. Are you, what, that's, what are you kidding? This is not true, right? This That's Chuck, right? Uh, well... Well, uh, basically, you know, Chuck came came down, and as you know, uh, you know, I've known Chuck a couple of years now, off and on. I wouldn't say we're yeah, Chuck's a real good, great guy. Yeah, he's all right. I wouldn't say we're close. Uh, and uh, well, I had a couple of words. I had a few words to say to him. What'd you tell him? Well, uh, are are the uh, the signal issue? Uh, I was less than, 
less than agreeable to the idea that we turn off the transmitter. Oh, boy. You know, Chuck, you don't want to, I mean, he's a nice guy, but you don't want to step on his toes. What, 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 do you mean you're, what, you refuse to let him look at the tr- transmitter or what? Yeah, well, you know, I knew we were, we were trying to, we were trying to play the shows and, uh, I know how everyone here at the station relies on me to keep things going. The show didn't even make it on the air. Yep. Uh-huh. So I had a few words with Chuck and, uh, well, it resulted in a telephone call from his superior, from his superior. So wait, 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 what happened? He told, what did, what did he want to do? Uh, you refused, what happened? You refused to let him look at the transmitter. You kept it running. Uh, and then he called down his superior. Uh, well, uh, you know, I just, um, just always, always been told that the show must go on. Yeah. Well, that's, that's in radio. I mean, they told you that in radio when you, you get your FCC license, no dead air. So, uh, I just kept it going and I told Chuck, if you want to, if you want to turn it off, if you want to go check it out, you're going to have to, you're going to have to do it out of my cold dead hands. Oh. Bob, you get a hot head like this, and you know it's just it's no good news for anybody. Oh man! All right. Well, I'm sure you apologized to him, right? Did you write him a letter? Did you send him a fax or something? Uh, I suggested to Tron Scone it might be a good idea for him to send him a fax, clarifying this is not Tron's deal, buddy. Come on now, come on, let's face the facts here. You were in the wrong, and you you got a big head about it. You got a little heated up, and then you went and you, you know, you told Chuck, you gave him what, whatever, and then he runs off, gets his superiors, and now we're in a heck of a lot of boiling water here, and I just want to, you know, I feel like a, like I'm trapped under a fish hole here. Like I'm ice fishing, you know, trying to get out of the, you know what I mean? So you got to send him a fax and just, you got to apologize, buddy. I mean, my cousin can pull a couple uh, lines over there, but he's not going to pull that much. Well, listen, I, you know, uh, me and Chuck have a little bit of a history. There was that issue over the, over the elk that he claims to have. That's got nothing to do with TV 15 here. I'm putting my foot down. I'm about. To, I'm telling you the truth here. We gotta send him a fax. <sighs> All right. Uh, so here's a as recompense for for the other day. We're gonna play a little clip of Reverend Steve Bleen's sermon from Sunday, which we meant to play on the air originally. I I apologize for this. What's that? No, that's Bob. It's yeah. No, he's the one who did it. He told him off. Oh, uh, but. We are all here to worship and to be at one with him. Or her, right? (laughs) I'm open to it. I'm open to it. And I say to myself, or more accurately, God says to me in the body text of this email, he says to me, communicate with this woman. Just because she has a 13-ounce jar of... uh, Parmesan cheese, or whatever, doesn't mean that she's not one of God's creatures. And now is your time, Rev, to show your stuff. And I took a moment, I took a deep breath, as I advise you all to do. Let's do it now, just for practice, everybody. That's right, just let it out real slow. And you tell yourself, God is listening to me. One of the holiest things is to be. Blood and flesh of the Creator, Son of the Holy Ghost above.
So instead of yelling at her the way I was all ready to do, I had all my, I had my whole thing thought up in my head. I'm going to say, what, would you forget the uh, kitchen sink? You want to go down to Home Depot next door? That's <laughs> what I was going to say to her. But I didn't say that, folks. What I said to her was, God bless you. Happy Sunday. Happy Saturday. It was now I realized it rings true. You've got God. I've got God. You have God right there in your heart. He's texting your cell phone. <laughs> He's in your pocket. Or whatever. You know what it is. <laughs> You've got an iPhone, Bill. You just got, he just got the new iPhone. Anyway, God is mobile. God is mobile. We know this. Right? Right? Because you don't just get him right here on Sunday during, during uh, Rev. Steve's sermon. This is not the only time you get it. You get him every day, Saturday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. You get him everywhere you go. God is mobile. God is mobile before Verizon. Okay? And if you got some complaints about Verizon, you probably got some complaints about God, too. But that's natural as well. But God is listening and he has the best customer support staff in the universe. He is the original customer support staff, God. And he's always there to let you know, hey, it's not the end of the world. Not yet anyway, right? We'll wait for Jesus to figure that one out when he wants to come back. And guys... <clears throat> If I can just get serious here, right? You know, I, I joke, I joke around a lot, but I just want to get serious here, and I just want to say a prayer. All right, so if you could join join me in this prayer, just bow your heads. Here goes. Holy Christ, I know we have troubles from day to day. We are in this big mobile world, bouncing around, full bars, empty bars. And there's a lot of people in it. It's not an empty world. There's a lot of people in here. God bless you, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, hey, Reverend, Reverend, hey. Uh, oh, hey, hey Wayne, it's Wayne. Hey, Wayne, my, my biggest fan, right? <laughs> that was great. Always first to congratulate me. Really, you really did it. You got me, uh, you got me in stitches back there. I mean, really good, very good stuff about uh, forgiveness and stuff. And boy, you know, every time you just stitches and tears All right, tears thanks, over Wayne, you. appreciate it. Yeah, well, I just wanted to say thanks and, uh, you know, good as ever, always really just hitting the right oh, hey, points. Hey, Brenda, good to see you. Hey. Uh, okay, so there we go. You had it, there you have it. <laughs>